As part of a catastrophic exodus of Earth's population brought on by Echoside and the breakdown of the biosphere, the Avalon, a sleeper ship carrying 5,000 colonists and 258 crew members in slumber pods, is making the 120-year journey from Earth to the planet Homestead 2. Only 30 years later, the spacecraft is damaged by an asteroid collision, leading to a malfunction that awakens passenger Jim Preston, a mechanical engineer, 90 years too early. Jim becomes depressed and considers suicide after a year of loneliness, with only an android barman named Arthur for companionship, until he spots Aurora Lane, a stunning young woman, inside a pod. Although he knows it is immoral and will prevent her from living the life she had planned on their destination planet, he fights with the idea of reviving her for company. After a while, he wakes her up, leading her to assume it was a malfunction. Aurora, distraught at being forced to spend her entire life aboard the spacecraft, makes an unsuccessful attempt to go back into sleep. She starts writing about her experience after accepting the circumstances. The two fall in love over the course of the following year. Arthur unintentionally tells Aurora the truth about her awakening just before Jim plans to pop the question. Enraged and distraught, Aurora physically assaults, scolds, and avoids Jim. She vehemently dismisses his apologies and stays away from him. Later, Gus Mancuso, a deck chief officer, is awakened by another pod failure. The team gains access to the ship's bridge using Gus's employment code and finds several cascade problems in the ship systems. The ship will fail if repairs are not made, killing the crew and passengers. Gus is given hours to live after being diagnosed with pansystemic necrosis by the autodoc, the ship's computerized medical suite, when he becomes seriously ill. Gus blames it on the repeated failures of his hibernation pod. He gives Jim and Aurora his employee code and ID badge so they can enter crew-only locations before he passes away. Two years after the asteroid crash, Jim and Aurora discover hull breaches. The cascade problems were caused by a major damage to the computer module that administers the ship's fusion reactor power plant, which was being maintained by diverting the computing power of other systems. The damage module is replaced, but the external vent fails when the computer tries to vent the reactor to stop a runaway plasma reaction. Jim is compelled to use the manual controls in the vent tube to spacewalk and expel the plasma from the outside. As Aurora starts venting from inside the spacecraft, Jim finds that he needs to stay in the tube to maintain the vent open. She acknowledges her long-lasting affections for him and confesses that she fears losing him and being abandoned. Jim manages to survive the venting by making a makeshift heat shield, but his tether breaks and his damaged spacesuit starts to lose air, sending him hurtling into space. In the auto dock, Aurora revives the clinically dead Jim after retrieving him from space. With its reactor fixed, the Avalon resumes regular operations. Jim discovers that the autodoc can serve as a hibernation pod for one person after burying Gus in space, and he demands that Aurora utilize it for the rest of the journey. She decides to stay up with Jim as she knows she won't see him again. The crew of the spacecraft awakens on time, just before they arrive at Homestead 2, 88 years later. They find a modest cabin, a large tree with trailing vines, lush greenery, and soaring birds in the ship's vast concourse. Aurora's account of her and Jim's amazing life aboard the Avalon is recorded. 